So welcome to part 3 of the horror series. In this part we're going to make flickering lights and the scary effect. The scary effect will be this TV screen with a monster on it and the flashing light will be this one. Let's get started with this part. Let's start off with the flashing lights. As you can see I've already added the light source at the lamp here. You can find it on the lights and it should be the first spotlight. Let's first rename this to flickering light. So we don't miss it. And let's fix this one. Okay so this should look like your light now. And the first thing we're going to do is to add the new component this will be a script and let's call it flicker flickering light add the script and open it up we want this light to turn on and off at random times so we make two variables which will be the minimum time and the maximum time uh, this will be public floats uh, the first one min time this default as 0 0.05 and the second will also be a public float which is the min timer min min time I mean and this equals let's say 1.2 so this will be in seconds in a moment um, we also want to make two private variables the first one will be a float which is the timer and we don't have to assign a value to it we do it in a moment in the start function then the second will be also a private um, light so this will be our light component and we call it L then in the start we want to find the L so L equals get component and we can do this because the light is at the same game object as the script so you say get, get component light and we also want to assign a random value to the timer so we do this by writing timer equals and then we use random dot range and this is why we use the minimal and the maximum time because a random range gives you a number between two variables and in our case it will be min time and max time and by oh max time min time and max time so here also min time and max time and then in the update we want the timer minus equals time dot delta time so this ensures that these numbers are in seconds and not in frames and then if the timer is less than or equal to zero we want to turn on or off the light and we can just do that by writing l dot enabled and this is enabling or disabling the component and we set it equal to the opposite of light dot enabled so if it's enabled it will set it to disabled and so on then we also want the audio to play we're going to add the audio source in just a moment and after that we want to assign a new random value to the timer so we can just copy this line and paste it here so let's save this and add a audio source to the light and uncheck play on awake and change the volume to around 0.4 because otherwise it will be too loud and I got a audio source the electric shock I don't know if you guys have this but you can find it in the project file in the description and also change the 3d sound settings and this red line you can see here is where the audio listener is so it's now in the hallway and the x-axis is the distance 
so as you can see you can hear the sound from beyond the position where the player is at the moment but we only want to hear it when we're in range of this area so we delete this one and this one also and select the first one and using these handles we use a bit of rounded curve and then select this one and place it slightly in front of our player so now at the position of a player we can't hear it but if we get something closer we can hear the audio so let's see if this is working remember to save everything uh, when we enter this door we can hear the sound from the light and if you think this is too slow or too fast you can always change these numbers here so if you want to get it real slow, you can say between 1 and maybe 5. So then it's changing one, uh, between 1 and 5 seconds. So this is for the uh, light. Now we're going to add the first scary vent. And this will be the TV screen with a white noise on it. And when you get close to the TV, a scary image will pop up. So to do this we first add a plane in front of the TV. So go to create, 3D object and then plane. Position it somewhere around here. Then for the rotation use 90 and minus 45 degrees. And place it slightly in front of the TV but behind this ring. So center it and scale it a bit inwards. Something like this should be fine. So this will be our display. And let's change this to TV Scare. Also we're going to create a new material for it. So create material. And also let's call it TV Scare. Or maybe material. And then here in the texture we can assign our custom texture. And if you can't see this window, you can click on this bar and it will appear. So for the texture we're going to go to the folder textures and I got the TV noise. So drag this one here. And then apply this material to our plane. You can just drag the material onto your plane. And as you can see it's not very bright and the TV is actually illuminating light. So instead of the diffuse shader we use the self illuminating and then the diffuse. So now it sort of gives light. Also we're going to add an audio source now. Do the playing audio source and you can leave play on the wake on and check loop. And for the audio clip. We go to audio and I got the TV noise. I don't know if you guys have this but you can also find it in the description where you can find the project file. So we assign that one here. And also the 3D sound settings change this the same way as we did before for the light. So make this a bit rounder and this one slightly in front of the player. So we can only hear the sound effect when we're close to the TV. You could always change the max distance also, but I think this will be fine for now. So now we got the audio and this screen. We are now going to add a new component which will be the, uh, the trigger zone. We can delete this mesh collider because we don't need it. And add component. And this will be a sphere collider. And we want to center it here in front of the TV. So we change the center Y axis. Something about here. Say 15. And the radius around. Let's say 15 also. This one a bit inwards. So something like this should be fine. So when we enter this zone. We will activate the scary vent and remember to check its trigger. 
Now for the scripting part, we add a component and we call it TV scare event. Edit and open it up. And for this one, we're going to use some variables because we want to change the screen. So we need a texture and we want to change the audio. So we also need the audio variable. But first the texture, this will be public texture 2D. And we call it noise texture. Also a texture 2D for the scare image or scare texture. Then a public audio clip for the TV noise or maybe noise sound and a public audio clip for the scare sound. So these are the public ones and we also want to make a boolean. So we use bool. This is a private and we call this one show scare. So we know when to show the scare effect. Um, this one. We default this at false. Because only when we enter the trigger zone we want this to be true. Um, this is the same as that you say private bool show scare but when you don't say something in front of it it will always be private so this is always possible we don't need the start function so we can delete that but actually we do need a void on trigger enter with a collider and we call this one other. And here also we want to check if this is the player. Uh, so and here also we want to check if the collider that enters the trigger is our player. And we did this in the last tutorial, so I'm going to get over this. So other dot compare tag and then we say player. So if the player enters this trigger, what should happen? First we change this texture to the scary image and then we play the sound. And to actually change this material, we first have to go to the renderer, then the material and then the main texture. That's just a way of changing a texture in Unity. The simple way. Um, so we go to the renderer dot material dot main texture and this equals the scare texture then for the audio we want first all the audio to stop you don't have to do this but I think it's better then the audio dot loop we set it to false because we only want to play this sound once and then we change the audio clip to be the scare sound and then we play the audio so audio dot play and here we also want to change the boolean so the show scare is true then in the update we want to check if we need to show it so if show scare and we forgot to make a variable which will be the public float and we call this scare time and this will be how long the image will display and we said we say three seconds So this number will be decreased in here to so scare time minus equals time dot delta time and if this time is less than or equal to zero 
we want to turn everything back to this state so we first have to change the renderer actually we can just copy this one so copy this whole part and place it here and the texture will be the noise texture uh, stop the audio loop is true because the noise has to loop and the sound is the noise sound and show scale should be false now so that should be it and now we have to assign all these variables uh, we can do that here in the inspector so the noise texture we go to the textures and find the TV noise then for the scare texture we have the scare picture and then we go back to the audio here the noise will be the TV noise this one also is in the project file in the description and then we also have the witch laugh and that will be the scare sound so let's test this out remember to save uh, we don't hear anything now that's okay and when we enter this room we can hear the sounds it's getting louder when you come close and when you enter this trigger zone it will play so that was the first scary event it was quite a simple one but we just made it in the next part there will be way more ambient sounds and creepy sounds i think the bathroom will be one of it also we're going to make a main menu and a outdoor place so we have to actually have to walk to this house and we're also going to make a little story around it so it's not only this house and you just don't know why you're here but we're going to make a little bit of a story i hope you liked this tutorial and if you did please like and subscribe to this channel to don't miss any upcoming tutorials if you have any questions feedback or just want to say something please leave a comment down below i hope to see you all in part 4 for some new scary things so bye bye